again and welcome back to Scott and Wanda's World. Fatty ones back with a video I bet you never thought you'd ever see again. Uh, me brewing something with a pointer. Um, about a week or so ago, I was contacted by a lovely person called Rianz um, that had seen my. <laughs> my haphazard and slightly off kilter way of using my original pointer, the pointer one, which I got for Christmas in uh, 2020 from Wanda. Um, and let's be honest, I had a few problems with it, in all honesty. Uh, first one, the fresh, what is it called, public house IPA. I made a bit of a balls up. Uh, I don't think I followed, followed the instructions particularly well. Uh, so the beer was rubbish. The Stars and Stripes American IPA, Pale Ale, whichever one it is, I still can't remember. Um, it was better, but still had that sort of, um, sort of quite homebrewy feel to it. Then it all went wrong with the, the Dark Matter Stout, where the brewing dock got stuck, and I basically just kind of gave up with the machine, to be fair. And then, about a week or so ago, uh, Pointer contacted me saying, can we send you a machine, Scott? I was like... Well, that's come out of left field. Um, so, as I've said, as long as I can be honest about it, then then that, that's absolutely fine. But I, I do you a disservice if it, I say it's really good and I have the same problem. So, I'm going to go through the brew of my first beer, um, and then we'll come back in a couple of weeks' time and see if it's any good. Also, uh, this isn't a sponsored thing. It's just a case of the pointer have sent me the beer and the machine to take a look at there's no money changed hands just a bit of free advertisement for them. actually the pointer is in uh, tesco at the moment at 79 pound with a club card something for christmas it is a bit of fun i actually really like the original machine it's just i couldn't get on with it and so they've sent me an electric blue pointer three um build quality is a lot sturdier than the original um, they fix things like the tap, the brewing dock looks a lot better, uh, the, gym, the carbonation dial, which a lot of people have problems with, all looks like they've done stuff to try and eliminate the original problems. So what I'm going to do today is, they asked me what beer I asked, what I wanted, I went for Space Hopper, the West Coast Edition, double dry hopped oil. Double dry hopped IPA, double dry hopped IPA. Now when I first did my first pointer, they came in like a little uh, square bottle sachet thing. They now come in these packs. Um, this one's about 20 quid I think, so 20 quid, 10 points. One pound 99 a point, if it goes well. I don't think that's too bad. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go through the, the app, there's an app. A share with you, screen record on, so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. So the pointer app, you tell it what pointer you've got, um, what you're going to brew, etc, etc, etc. So we're going to go through the instructions of actually purifying the pointer. What I have done, the only thing I've actually done is I've washed it out inside. Um, so it's hopefully got a little bit of that newness sort of gone out of it. Um, so the first thing it says is to turn the carbonation dial to number five clockwise. So this is the carbonation dial. Turn it all the way around to number five. I don't know if you can see the numbers on there. Well, that's around to number five. Next thing it says is to take the lid off, bloody, 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 blah. Unclip the tap handle sideways, remove the front plate. The front plate's been taken off anyway. So that's been done. Make sure that the tap is fully secured in, which it is, all good. Uh, add the purifier, so they send you yeast and purifier. Do not consume, here's the purifier. So add that in there. Try the scissors up then. Kind of Sorry, the scissors up. <coughs> This business. I'll wash 
favor. So, do the client into the unit, and it says add purifier and water from the hot tap to the black line. I don't know if you're going to be able to see if there's the black line in there. Basically, it's white and comes up to black. So, let's turn the water on, get that warmed up. I like the app because it goes through things step by step, which is, I think, it's quite useful. Let's get that warmed up. And one of the mistakes I made on the original one brew for Public House was I didn't, um, I didn't purify the, the, dock, uh, the brewing dock. And I think that was one of the problems of my, um, was uh, one of the problems of the brew. Like right, that's hot now. So it says fill it up with the black line. And once that's been done, you'll screw the cap back on, ensuring the conical filament is in place and the handle is folded down. So uh, let that come up to the line. Which it is now. So let's put the, the lid back on. down which it is and it says shake the pointer for 20 seconds If you're counting, point to 25. Um, it says to put the the brewing dock on. Turn it. And then spin it upside down. And leave that for 10 seconds to all the water drain down into the brewing dock. And that's one of the things I didn't do on the first pointer, is um, on the first brew, I forgot to purify the the brewing dock. So hopefully, we get it right this time. And it says, in the sink, hold the brewing dock, and rotate anti-clockwise to release the purified dock. So that's the dock purified. So that is basically the machine purified. I'm just going to bring some through the tap to make sure that that's, um, that's done as well. And then what we'll do is we'll empty the machine and follow the process of actually brewing the beer. Right, so, on the app, it shows you, uh, when you go on there, it says, uh, so this has got idle brewing at the moment, I'm an idle brewer, and then it gives you all of the beers that you can brew. I've got the Space Hopper. Now this one is, you can either go for an eight day standard brew, or a developing 14 days brew. So obviously the 14 days is, so start today. Uh, so it says start date is the 26th of November, which is today, to the 10th of November. So you've got seven days brewing and seven days conditioning. So I think I'm gonna go for that. So you start brewing and it, I think you can type notes and other bits and pieces. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into 
the brewing and it tells you how to do your brewing. So the first thing it says is scan the QR code um, on the thing, which I can do. QR code on the back of the pouch. If it comes through, there you go. Blah, 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 blah. So it's basically the same, the same information that's on the, on the app. So scan the thing. It says add cold water to the black line. Now you can either use tap water. I've chosen to actually use bottled water. But the tap water, you're always going to get slight changes in the the quality of the water. So I've gone for a more I think um, purified approach. This one was from Tesco. Other waters are available. And then bang on that same black line as the purify as the, when you're purifying. It then says to add the fresh press. Oh, I lost it. But this is your fresh press. Uh, says on here the third addition to the space hopper dipper family. Dry, crisp, and hoppy floral hops takes in the stage. Background notes of peach, pineapple, and orange bring a recognizable yet subtle fruitness, and it should. Get me up to 7% ABV. Now I'm not going to measure this one. We're just going to see if we can get a decent beer out of it. So this is all going to go in. And we want to get every little trickle and ounce out of this. Now the old ones the trick was to wash it around a little bit with a little bit of hot water to get every little bit out. I think what I'll do, I'll just, I'll, I don't want to get any baddies into this beer at all, like last time. And we'll just get as much out as we can. So most of that's out. Wipe my hands. Next thing it says is to add the yeast. So they all come with their own yeast. Fresh brewing yeast. This is loyalty. I don't remember the name of the yeast. A highly alternative strain with lower ester profile, perfect for hop or milk forward beers. So pitch the yeast, make sure all that goes in. Um, you've got this hopper uh, that goes in the back. The hopper um, doesn't go in at the initial brewing stage. We'll see when that goes in and we'll probably do some sort of little video on that. Uh, screw the main cap on. Make sure that hand goes down. Now, it says to shake for a minimum of 30 seconds. Uh, when Riaz, when I told Riaz this was the beer, beer that I was after, they recommended that I um, shake the vessel for at least two minutes to give it a really good chance of um, doing the right thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a timer stopwatch and we'll, we'll do a two minute shake and I'll speed this up and then we'll be back. Right, 
as a workout. Should have said in the in the instructions, it does say to um, turn the carbonation dial to, dial to five for this beer, which I've already done anyway. Uh, everything's locked in, so it says to put the brewing block on, spin it round, and then turn it upside down, and there should be a loud gurgle. Now it goes on, that's not just for me. And now, you're a brewer. It says, remember hitting is normal. If you have a hopper, make sure to add before conditioning. Track your brewing time in the app or scan a QR code. Whew. It was a workout, wasn't it? Let's just stop that screen record. So yeah. So I've set mine for seven days left. So I've got seven days brewing. So that's gonna go set up in my back bedroom. After that, it's gonna have seven days conditioning. So that puts us to, what did it say, December sometime, didn't it? Uh, December the 10th is when we will be taking the first look to see if I can get anything decent out of the pointer. I hope I can. Um, I'm hopeful this time that I've done it properly and not rushed through it and uh, that I've sterilised everything. We've got to be hopeful that the, the presses are good. Um, very kindly they sent me another one which is a Belgian spice ale as well so we'll have a look at that one next. I know Barry has put some in bottles as well. That might be an idea for a future one as well but fundamentally I just, would just like a decent beer. I know it's capable of it, so let's hope and pray it's really, it is really good. Um, and I'm going to be very honest about it. If it isn't, I'm going to tell you it isn't. Um, I picked a style I really like, so should be able to tell you if it's a decent style of beer from the machine. Just say it's going to go set up in the back bedroom. Thank you so much to Pinter for sending me the Pinter 3 and the beer to go in it. Um, check out their website. So they are available in Tesco's now for £79 with a club card. So that's about £20 off, which, which is a pretty decent deal. And the, the fresh press is, I think they range from about £15 to £20. Quid. I'm completely knackered and out of breath for shaking that bugger for two minutes. Let's hope and pray that this one goes better than the last couple. Um, if we get any, uh, any tips, any things that you think can help me, then leave them in the comments box. If you spotted that I've done anything wrong and I'm in trouble again, put the comments in the comments box. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, there's a subscribe button somewhere, and I'll see you soon.